Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler, and today I'm at the Motoplex Speedway with my friend Don and Yvette, and we're going to learn how to drive race cars. So what do we need to know before we start here? Well, you guys, uh, we're going to start out, we're going to go around the track in my truck, and I'll show you the track. You need to learn how to get on, off, and the safety aspects of what is out there first before we actually get in the cars. So the first lap, we're just going around and we got to move our t wheel back and forth and get all the rocks off the tires. So we're just staying low on the track. And it's called scrubbing. It's called scrubbing. And then after we've done our first slow round, we get a thumbs up from Don because he's going to be he's going to be over here inspecting to make sure that we look good from the outside. We're not on fire or anything. We're going to give him the thumbs up to say that we're good from the inside. And then your second time by me there I'm gonna give you a green flag which means everything's go you do what you want to out here tracks wide open two feet. so what's the fastest we'll get these cars going if it's like first time first time person around here you know 60 70 miles an hour maybe notice the tires on these cars are super smooth no treads that's why it's important to make sure the track is dry they don't have any races in the rain. Rain shuts her right down. My friend Yvette here is a bit of a high maintenance chick. She's pretty certain that she's gonna be allowed to race with her high heel shoes, but I'm kind of doubting that Dawn's gonna let her. Just gonna throw my brain bucket on here. All right, let's get to the car. This area here is called the cold pit, and this is the hot pit. This is where the cars get fixed and they go to start. Okay, Don just got the car checked out for us. Looks like it's a go. And we're gonna take it for a spin now. Does it get more freaking cool than this? So now we gotta put on the complicated five-point harness. Yeah. my graceful exit. Get your head open. Feet first. <laughs> Limbo. Oh, just like nice. Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> so when you're driving the small car, it's important to stay in third the entire time. Why is that? Just because that's the way it's geared. With the little tires and everything else, that seems to be the gear and happy for this half mile track. So the lovely Yvette is going to teach us how to get in. One leg in first. Sit on the door, hang on to the bar, and leg in, and lower in. Nice. Nah. Mm. Yvette's a little tiny, so we gotta have some pillows in the back there for her. Can you reach those pedals yet? Yeah, no, I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yvette's coming along. Looks like she's gonna get the green flag. She's doing pretty good. All right, that's your cue to cruise. So how was that, Yvette? Fantastic. That was amazing. That was so freaking cool. <laughs> so it looks like round one went to Teresa the Traveler. According to Dawn, I went way faster than Yvette. She lies because uh -uh. you're the fave. Because you're, you're the like one with crawling. the camera. <laughs> so since we managed to drive the small car, now we're moving up a notch. Dawn's just getting the next size up ready for us. So what kind of car is this that we've just graduated to? This is a 1978 Monte Carlo with a 350 Chev, probably putting out about 340 horsepower. And oh wow. I'm, and I'm letting the air out because we were trying to set up some stagger to make sure this thing turns left. This styrofoam cup effect, you know, one size of a cup is bigger than the other and if you roll it, it's going to automatically turn the direction towards a smaller tire. Okay. So that's why I let air out more air out of the left side than the right side and then the car will actually turn left by itself. Oh, now this one's got some speed. I'm a little nervous to be driving it. All right, Yvette, are you nervous about driving this one? <laughs> oh, look, you have to take the steering wheel off, get out.
Juliet's just getting fitted with her pillows. Can you can you reach? That's the uh Oh, I think he's getting more pillows. Okay, we got a vet in her second lap. Come on, give her some speed, girl. Good job. So was it awesome or what? Yeah, you kicked the crap out of me on that round. Yeah, round two goes to you. Now I'm going for a ride in the big kahuna. This is an actual NASCAR, right? NASCAR style sportsman, yeah, it is. Uh, 450 horsepower, 2950 pound, 2006 Monte Carlo. All plastic nice. body. So what is that kill switch for really? Just turns the battery off oh. and the ignition off so that if like if the thing hits the wall and the safety comes along, they can shut everything off. So if people want to come out and learn how to drive a race car, where do they go? Well, get on speedwayracingschool.com or CA, no matter, or you can phone me, 307-3369, it's myself, 250 in front of that. You just book a day, come out, and give her. Check out the interior of the NASCAR Sportsman. It is definitely not an automatic. There's kind of a stick shift thing there. And there's a kill switch. So if you want to kill someone, that's the one you hit. Okay, according to Dawn here, it isn't that kind of kill switch. A big gun does not come out and eliminate your competition. <laughs> to learn where else to go and how to get there, check out my website, www.wheretogoandhowtogetthere.com or buy my book, Teresa the Traveler Tells You Where to Go and How to Get There.